So I think once you get some traction on social media and you are posting consistently and there's something for people to look at when they go to your page, boosting can be kind of a step up from what your audience already is. So it's it's yeah. just showing it more to your current audience. Sure. If your post had um, a lot more interaction on yeah. it than other ones, that's a great way to kind of use that momentum, just boost it yeah. um, you know, for a week or so and that will help get more eyes on it basically. Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome to The 88 Show. This is the internet's only dental show where we talk about what matters most in marketing. I am your host, Joshua Scott, here on episode 139, 139 episodes with Ariel, our social media strategist. What's up? What's up? How's, How's your day been? It's good. It's been a little rainy here, but we're in the basement, so it doesn't yeah. matter. <laughs> yeah, is it the highlight of your week being having a podcast episode? It is probably like the low point, but the point <laughs> that I drank a whole coffee without eating breakfast, so it's like, it balances out. Yeah, a little nervousness, a little yeah. anxiety. Yeah. Oh, gosh, you'll be fine. You're so good at talking about this. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, this month, obviously, you're on the show because it's no secret this month's article revolves around you. You wrote it. Um, what's the title of your article? The title. Shattering social media excuses for dental startups. Wow, that's Got a good it. one. Yep. Uh, so basically, talking about social media for startups, how to get them, uh, yeah, just a good strategy, uh, yes. get them kickstarted into that, um, which which I love. So it's like social media from a startup perspective. Um, how is uh, let's start with this? How is social media different for a startup? Like, yeah. like what made you want to write this article? Yeah. So we have worked with a few startups on social media, and then. Uh, a lot just and as a whole as a company yeah and it can be really tricky as a startup when they are trying to figure out what to post when to post how much to post what content to use when they haven't done a photography session or a video session they yeah. don't even have their space ready they can tend to feel a little frozen until they suddenly launch and then they're like come see me this will be so fun right. and i think people there's a little bit of a disconnect so i really love being able to help startups not feel so overwhelmed and kind of get started online so that when they are live in person yeah they have a you know a little bit of they hit the ground running a little bit yeah that's so true that pre-launch phase is tricky because i think they're like well what i'm not even in the practice yet it's not right. open like what do right. i post what do you even do? and yet there is so much they can um you you talk about the first step just being getting from like zero to one like just moving yeah. Yeah. the needle <laughs> getting past that first post that first reel that first video it's it's always the one that seems to take the longest uh, and we probably overthink it yeah. the most. Um, but what are some of your keys to just getting started, creating momentum? Yeah, so the first one will always take the longest and it's the most stressful and it's the most nerve wracking to actually post. So like A, it takes a really long time to make and then B, you take five days to post it because you're scared. So <laughs> my objective in social media world is that the goal is to remember that it's media, videos, photos, graphics, that you are being social with. So the point is to build connections, build relationships, and you can't do that if you're not actually showing up. So my advice in getting that initial momentum is just to start posting, find right. some consistency, whatever that means for you, but find some consistency so that you can begin to build trust with your audience and just, at first it's gonna look messy. Mm -hmm. Everyone starts with zero, everyone starts with nothing, everyone starts with being terrified and it gets better from there the more you do it yeah 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 so true so what I hear you saying is that the authenticity the trust is more important than it being polished and yes. looking amazing yeah. yeah I definitely I tend to lean away from just straight surgery or blood or <laughs> mouth photos yeah that's not necessarily gonna be the prettiest thing to look at but on the opposite side, it does not need to be professional photography and video all the time. It the the better angle of social media is to build the relationships, and the more you can do that, feeling like yourself, the better it will go for you. Yeah, yes. documenting the journey yeah. as like the entrepreneurial journey, which yes. I think people find fascinating. Yeah, so, it's like an underdog story. Yeah, yeah, like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They, yeah, it's like subconsciously you're they're rooting for you. Yeah, like you're connected. Yeah. yeah. So, um, okay, cool. And like I. A lot of times I encourage practices to have like a team culture bucket. For you, yeah. is that like the behind the scenes kind of stuff? Yeah, I think the behind the scenes, for a startup specifically, the yeah, behind the scenes could be like physically there's no building. Right. So yeah. here's, here's behind the scenes. But I think the team culture piece uh, 
is is can be separate. Okay. So I know that we had um, we had one startup that was talking about their team meetings. So their meetings were not in a in a boardroom space. It okay. wasn't in a prepared space, but they're showing that they're preparing for their opening and how they're going to pivot and how yeah. they're going to um, you know manage their patients. And so you're getting a sneak peek into that side. So I think for startups, they can definitely be separate. Maybe for more established practices, they're kind of together ish. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. I think another great bucket for startups is other local businesses. Yeah. Like figuring yeah. out how you can post their stuff because as soon as you do, you know, um, you get the other local businesses around your area, walk in, introduce yourself. Yeah. Figure out how you can help them, and then you start spotlighting them. Yeah. Uh, you're just instantly gonna make friends. Yeah. I think building the the inter community links is super big for startups specifically yeah. or i know we have a lot of startups that come in with um like a cause or a, yeah. a non-profit that yeah, they yeah. partner with i think that is awesome because that gives you immediate content to share you know yeah. when you come in as a patient this is what it's actually going toward yeah. and doing i think that's really cool and one of the, the tips i've learned is you can capture stories but post them later yes <laughs> and what I that has helped me tremendously because I think stories sometimes we think it's like you've got to be in story, snap a picture, do all the little yeah. you know gifs and, emo and emojis and all that stuff right then, but you yeah. don't like just open up your camera, yeah. grab photos throughout the day of things that catch your eye or things that are yeah. out of the norm, and then later that night, then go and put yeah. them in the stories. Or days later, it could be any. Yeah. I think Instagram used to make it so that when you made a story, you could only use content from your photo reel, like yeah. from your own photo gallery that was taken within the last 24 hours. That's yeah. like how it used to be. Um, so now you can take any organic content that you want and just, and share it whenever you want. So yeah. I think it's great to, to point that out that yeah, you don't have to do it live in person. You can do a screen recording of yourself even with a filter on yep. and <laughs> save it and just do it later. Um, and another just important note for Instagram stories is uh, most people, I would say, majority of people honestly listen to them without sound. Yeah. So I think one of the most important elements of being on stories with kind of being real and honest and authentic with your audience is that you caption them. So before mm -hmm. you post um, it live, it will give you the option to add words. And honestly, I think that would that actually helps because people who have kids around or they're in a space where they can't listen, um, to a story that will still help them to be able to connect with you. Yeah, yeah. I'm a gosh. I rarely have the audio yeah. on. Um, yeah. <laughs> so anytime somebody posts with captions, it's a huge deal. Mm -hmm. So, uh, last question. I know this wasn't in the article, but uh, what do you think about boosting? So you know, now you're a startup. You've got uh, you're hitting your posts every week. Uh, does boosting play a role? Like just getting more people looking at it. So I think once you get some traction on social media and you are posting consistently and there's something for people to look at when they go to your page, um, boosting can be, um, it's kind of a step up from what your audience already is. I think boosting is kind of just giving you, if, you, if your post had um, a lot more interaction on yeah. it than other ones, that's a great way to kind of use that momentum, just boost it yeah. um, you know, for a week or so and that will help get more eyes on it basically yeah no, that's great so sometimes that whole three to five posting a week is just getting it like in, in the place where odds are somebody's gonna see one of those posts yeah. a week yeah because um, I'm like if Facebook shows it to 25% of your audience and you post four times in theory in theory <laughs> yeah in theory it doesn't always yeah. work like that but everybody should see at least once but yeah. but, but then there's just also the using the platform responsibly yes if you do yes. that you also <laughs> increase your chances yep. which is amazing the, the games we play with this sometimes <laughs> um, but Awesome. Well, hey, I appreciate you uh, sitting down and sharing your expertise with our audience. Yeah. It's been fun. It's been fun. It's been the highlight of your week. Highlight of my year. Yeah. Really. Of the year. 2021. That's 2021. It. We're that's there it. already. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, uh, thanks so much for hanging out with us. I know um, you've got the content calendar. Yep. Uh, it's at our website. Click on Trade Secrets. Yep. Go into this month. Uh, this is dropping in April 2021. Yep. Uh, so find that and uh, yeah, any last closing words of wisdom? Uh, I would say just reminding everyone that done is better than perfect, especially in yeah. the startup phase, frankly. Yeah. <laughs> There's, you can't really do much wrong on, yeah. on that front. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Just get it done, just force it yourself. Done. <laughs> uh, love the tools, love the structure. I think it's going to be super valuable. So guys, that is it for episode 139. Thanks Ariel for being here. Did and it. We will catch you on the next episode. See ya.